bit of a tough inside mid who you know loves contested ball, loves working around a stoppage, who can uh, cover a lot of ground, spread from contests, and um, is pretty courageous as well. Where's Devin Robertson, the captain? There he is. Devin Robertson with a game high 15, now 16 disposals. I think I've had a fairly decent season. I had a fairly big pre-season, which um, you know put me in good stead for the year. And then I have did a shoulder injury halfway through, so I didn't get to play the second half. But um, I think you know when I was playing footy, I was a bit up and about. The goal for me over the pre-season was to improve my fitness. A little bit of off-field stuff as well in regards to my diet. That set me up hugely. I was uh, feeling a lot better during the games. I was covering a lot more ground, so it was, it was a big pre-season. Here's an opportunity for WA. Robertson sweeps the hair pass back to Sharp. To lead WA throughout the carnival was, was a huge honour and just to be able to bring the cup back home to WA for the first time in 10 years was yes, yeah, so special to me and something I won't ever forget. Yeah, so the last medal was, again, really special for me and it's a huge honour. There's been some fantastic players been at over the last recent years and, and before that as well. I was just playing my role throughout the team and it just so happened to be that my role was you know, winning a lot of the ball and giving it out to uh, some of my other teammates, so and that's what I did, so, yeah. Devin Robertson is the captain courageous of this year's draft pool. We saw that at the mid-year carnival where he averaged 30 disposals and five appearances a game. In the final game, though, he tore a ligament in his shoulder which required surgery after the championships. We didn't see him at any point after that, but he'd done enough to prove himself as a likely top 10 pick. He's a midfielder, he's tough, he's aggressive, he's a competitor, also very athletically blessed too. So he has strong bloodlines and looks like being a very early selection come draft night. Mum's brother is Darren Glass, so he's my uncle. And growing up, you know, you idolise all these uh, footy players, and then to have one in your family you can chat to and see regularly was, was amazing, and he's been really influential for me. This afternoon, they're doing a great job of it at the moment as Robertson just rips it out of the Vic Country player's hand, and then a great kick to Henry. They're not getting reward for effort, but they'll go forward once again through Robertson. Yeah, so I subluxed my shoulder halfway through the second quarter, so it popped out and went straight back in, so I didn't have to pop it in. No, I knew straight away something wasn't right. I actually didn't say anything to any of the doctors or physios because um, I was too scared they were going to hold me out of the game, so I didn't say anything and just kept it quiet. And, and you know, I, moving throughout the game, it was, it was fairly fine. There was lots of adrenaline going through my body, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah, so I had surgery two or three weeks after the carnival, which um, put me in a sling for four weeks, and then uh, I've only just up, just started running again. So throughout the pre-season, I should be, should be all fine to go. I think there might be a little overlap uh, with regards to a bit of contact stuff, but uh, running and, and skills and stuff, I'm ready to go.